Hello. Uh, as promised, uh, I recorded the chess event separately. Uh, this is not one of my best chess runs. It actually runs a little longer than it usually does, but uh, it does show you a winning chess run. Um, the point of this fight, which you start by inhabiting the king, by the way, uh, is to kill their war chief, the, um, I guess you would say the, the problem with that is that he actually cheats every four or five rounds, uh, which means between him cheating you can move about four to five pieces, um, or perform four to five actions, but, um, you want to start off the fight by kind of giving the king a way out of his little corner uh, so that he can start attacking stuff uh, quickly. I tend to put this uh, knight right here and point him towards the enemies uh, because all the enemies try to go to where the king started uh, so that's a good place to set someone. Um, now I do make a mistake uh, with the king here in that uh, I get in him, I move him to the correct spot and start using him and then I forgot about the cheating so right as uh, Medivh cheats I'm actually getting out of the king and the king ends up taking a pretty significant amount of damage before I can get back into him so after you've moved the first three to four pieces uh, and you've gotten into the king like I have here and moved him up so you can uh, get to him you want to stay in him until Medivh cheats which you're seeing right here and you'll see uh, I got out a split second too early and actually had to get right back in the king and move so uh, that was a mistake one mistake like that's probably not going to cost you the fight uh, a few mistakes like that will cost you the fight um, other than that it is actually a uh, pure luck uh, as to where the opposite factions pieces move you can have games like this one where it takes me all game like five minutes to get into position to attack the warlord and then you'll have times where the warlord uh, or king if you're horde moves right in front of you and you just kill him within two minutes of starting the fight so uh, to that end it's extreme luck now if your king is in a good position and uh, Medivh has just cheated so you know you have uh, four to five uh, moves before the uh, he cheats again you can actually get out of the king and move some pieces up into position the king will continue to cleave uh, he very rarely uses his uh, king's uh, buff there uh, unless you are in him and actually physically using it but he will continue to swipe the enemies uh, with some frequency so if you want to um, move some other pieces around while well, he's just bidding on something uh, that's probably a smart idea and you'll see I gave him a quick little heal right there with the cleric uh, to kind of counteract the uh, time in Medivh uh, Medivh's fire that he spent a little earlier in the game and I'm also moving that uh, charger into position there I did not turn him where he can actually fight something which I should have but at least he's up there in a position where an enemy can come to him uh, and he's in some use in the fight um, The, uh, the fight is actually quite easy if you time your cheats correctly where you can step directly out of fire when he cheats. Uh, as long as you do that then it's basically a waiting game because all of these little people you can uh, kill quite easily. Uh, even if all of them were attacking your king it's, it's pretty hard to die uh, unless you're standing in that fire.
you'll see me get out of the king one more time uh, to just move some other pieces around and uh, get some work done but at this point it's basically you know just killing their war chief off uh, I mess up with the cheats one more time here at the end you know I, I feel that I've had it I've got it in the bag at this point and I actually get out of the king at, a, at the wrong time uh, here in a minute but uh, I still didn't lose just make sure that uh, you're kind of keeping a tally up and know that ever so often he's going to cheat if you're going to get out of the king and start moving people around you need to do it uh, right after he's cheated so that you can be in the king again by the time he cheats. A thing to note is those clerics that I'm getting in and using their heal spell, they don't really use that without you physically uh, getting in them and healing your king. Um, and while the pieces do fight by themselves, they don't tend to use their special abilities like that uh, unless you direct them to. The kills coming up here uh, and you'll see I'm actually moving the king around and trying to have some fun when he cheats. But uh, other than that it's a pretty clean kill and uh, that's the strategy. Have a great day.